America's new ballistic missiles. The deep strike is an answer to Russia's Iskander and Iran Bavar 373, Korea's Mazudin. United States and a number of its allies today face a growing threat from the fast-improving ballistic missile capacities of their potential adversaries, with America's four great power adversaries. Russia, China, North Korea and Iran, all investing heavily in the development of such strike capabilities, the former three for both strategic and tactical roles. As Washington and Moscow were long bound by the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, which prevented either party from developing or deploying land-based ballistic missile platforms with ranges between 500 km and 5,500 km, a range which covers all intermediate and upper and short-range platforms. The United States has been limited in its ability to respond to the fast-growing intermediate-range strike capabilities of states such as China and North Korea. While both parties were bound by the treaty, drafted during the Cold War when the emergence of major third-party missile powers was never anticipated, it places no restrictions on the missile development of these third parties, thereby giving U.S. adversaries an advantage in a number of theaters including the Middle East and the Korean Peninsula. Russia for its part has undertaken a successful effort to develop a world-leading short-range ballistic missile, the 9K720 Iskander, which first entered service in 2006 and has a stated maximum operational range of 500 km. The missile has been cause for much concern for the United States and a number of its European partners, and could well be a game-changer in the event of open war in Europe. The Iskander has extensive tactical and strategic uses, and can deploy a wide variety of specialized conventional warheads including bunker busters, EMP warheads, cluster munitions, and enhanced blast warheads. The missile can also carry nuclear warheads, and is highly mobile and easily redeployable. The Iskander is extremely precise striking within 5-7 meters of its target even when operating at full range, and makes use of solid fuel making it easy to deploy quickly from mobile transporter erector launchers. The missile has been designed to evade the most sophisticated Western-made anti-missile systems, which given their consistent performance failures against far less sophisticated platforms such as the Scud B, which dates back to the 1960s will be little trouble for the Iskander.